Coming to you live from PRS View Studios, this is your Plastic Surgery Minute. Hi, this is Rod Rorick, and we're here with PRS View, and we're with uh, Dr. Barry Friedberg, and he is a board-certified anesthesiologist who's an expert in the management of, or prevention of postoperative nausea and vomiting. So, what can you um, ask your plastic surgeon to tell us, anesthesia provider, how to minimize postoperative nausea and vomiting? Well, thank you for asking. The most important thing is that he should use a brain monitor routinely. The brain monitor gives a number that allows the patient to control the exact amount of anesthetic they need so they can't be too much or too little. And that's why I call it Goldilocks anesthesia. So what's a brain monitor? The brain monitor sits a patch on the forehead and it generates a number between zero and 100. And it allows the anesthesiologist or a nurse anesthetist to know what's happening with the patient on an ongoing basis. The next thing, of course, you have to do is stop giving narcotics. No narcotics and use none. a pro none, zero, and a use a propofol-based anesthetic. So the easiest thing the patients can do is go to the website, uh, Goldilocks Foundation, and download the free copy of the book, Getting Over, Going Under. Uh, it's a nonprofit, not affiliated with brain monitor companies. Good. So, what caveats do you have for patients uh, when they're seeking a plastic surgeon to get this type of treatment? You, you ask them. Just ask in your pre-op interview. Do you use a brain monitor when, when you're given? If they say no, uh, then I would say uh, why not? Because I have to live with the long-term consequences of your short-term care.